preppy and everything, but I'm just trying to get ready. But I can't get ready until I do this haul. I've actually been putting it off long enough. So I'm going to start with what I got from Target. I got three colorful NYX eyeliners purple green and yellow this is the professional makeup liner stick we have cosmic yellow intense teal and graphic purple so i am excited to try those so i got a regular black eyeliner this is intense longwear black felt eyeliner renaissance fleek so i am excited to try this as well I used to just stick to the same old eyeliner, but I'm having fun experimenting. I got some blush from Winky Lux Cheeky Rose Blush in the color Dodgy. It is so cute. Look how it is packaged. Wow. It is in this super cute ball and it's a rose. Oh, it's so cute. The last thing from Target is a makeup palette by Revolution Makeup Revolution London, Patricia Bright Rich in Color Shadow Palette. <gasps> you guys, this is stunning. So this is how it looks. And then when you open it, you're just like, okay. And this is actually tin. So I thought that was pretty cool. All right, you guys, are you ready for this? Dur dur dur. Are you ready for this? <gasps> oh my, look at those colors. Aren't they beautiful? They're so vibrant. I really, really love vibrant colors and I love glitter. So this is perfect for me. So now we're gonna move on to a random website that I don't even remember what it's called. But I got this adorable purse. I really love cow print. Okay, haters, make your jokes here. So it's just a super cute black and white purse with a simple little shoulder Majiggy. Why am I like this? No one will ever know. And it opens like this. I love that. I love me a statement earring. Another pair of earrings from Torrid. Just some black dangly flower earrings. Got a dress. It is a black dress, but over it is, which you can actually wear this with any dress because it does come, um, unattached if you will but over it is this really really cute see-through dress over thing oh my god you guys i will be honest i didn't notice this i get nervous filming i've been doing youtube for a long time but something about filming i just my brain turns into mush and i'm just like i forget what words are got another dress look how flippin cute so this is leopard, obviously, but it has these really, really pretty flowers with it. Uh, I hope I like it on me. I don't know if I can really pull it off, but we'll give it a go. I also got a pajama top, but you guys, you know me. I wear pajamas as if they're just clothing to wear whenever, you know, I'm not going to sit there and wear a muumuu in public, but something like this. I could wear this in public and pull it off, okay? It's from Mean Girls, Burn Book. It is so cute. It is sleepwear, but I don't care. Next, we have Sephora. So, I got um, Skin Perfection Brush Set. Shit. I got Skin Perfecting Brush Set. It's a Sephora collection. I needed some new brushes, because I'm gonna go through mine and get rid of some, because they're kinda bold. I got the Marc Jacobs Concealer and Touch-Up Stick, which looks like this. Oh my god, it's so like fancy dancy, like oh my goodness. I got some new foundation. Don't come for me, I'm probably pronouncing this wrong. I'm just gonna say Armani, okay? So we got some Armani foundation. I'm telling you, why is makeup so expensive? That's what I'm wondering. Let's hope it works well but that is what it looks like i got blush nars i've heard very good things about this blush this is in the color orgasm x so heard good things so i'm excited to try it last thing i got from sephora is a lipstick fenty beauty by rihanna it is a plush matte lipstick in the color thick with two c's and she looks 
like this. You guys, I love Fenty Beauty packaging. And this is the color. A little FB on there. Next, we got Amazon. So I got some magnetic eyeliner and eyelash kit. This is 10 pairs by Ease Beauty. And then I also got magnetic eyelashes in Velamo. So I got overalls. <laughs> I did, I got overalls. I'm truly not sure how this is gonna go, but it is skirt overalls, it is velvet with the moon and a star. So I'm excited to see uh, how that goes. I hope it goes well. So the next thing is super wrinkled because like I said, I have been holding on to these to film a haul and yeah, it's super wrinkled. <laughs> but it's this really cute cherry jet dress with skulls as the cherries. I just thought it was really, really cute, honestly. I absolutely love this but a shirt came with that as well um you can wear a long sleeve white shirt underneath it if you want i mean you don't have to but i definitely want to and the last thing i got from hot topic is this checkered black and white dress the material is kind of Mm, suspicious so I'm not really sure if it's gonna fit me but I think it's super cute and I'm an idiot underneath everything I also have this shirt from Torrid that says Nirvana black and white and striped absolutely love this one of my most favorite things that I got in this haul besides why, why do you play bad next thing I'm using is Armani luminous silk perfect glow flawless foundation I've actually never used this before so let's hope for the best and yeah Dana and Destiny knew about it um a lot of people knew about it and I completely ruined it I felt you guys have no idea how bad I felt like I didn't care about myself I didn't care that I knew for my sake I felt so bad because Becky was planning like this whole thing and Ugh. I felt so bad. Oh my god. But yeah, that's how I found out. And she was like, oh my god, blah, blah, blah. I was going to propose on your birthday. And I was like, oh my god, you shouldn't have told me that. But then when she told me, I was like, you know, do what your heart is telling you to do. But yeah, I ended up like crying because I couldn't even believe it. Like the fact that Becky wants to marry me. And like spend forever together is really something special um <laughs> like I have been engaged one other time but I was a teenager so that was kind of like whatever to me but this is like the real deal um true love I'll tell you that much like our love for each other is just so, like, unconditional. And I know a lot of you think that you see our relationship as one way. And that's fine. Because that is social media. Social media is what it is. You know, assumptions and... <sighs> but I will tell you one thing. The assumptions are not real. Look how white my face looks compared to my actual natural skin. I literally think that, I think that, I think, I think that I think I'm whiter than I really am. Ugh. But can I still call it that for real? Like the holidays are long gone. I mean, we're still in winter. It could be, definitely be a winter depression for sure. Um... Because I'm just like very unmotivated and just like, ugh. I don't know. If you have depression, then you understand. Like, it is what it is. So now I'm going to do some magnetic eyeliner to put on some eyelashes. This is Ease Beauty. Looks like this. Got it off of Amazon. Um, I have a lot to choose from. So I think I'm just going to go with 
this one. That one doesn't look too bad, too whoa in your face. I was gonna do like eyeshadow and such, but I'm just like low key not in the mood. So we're just gonna do simple eyeliner. Ooh, this eyeliner does not smell good. Ugh. It's just a very strong eyeliner smell and I do not like it. So I have recently discovered I don't like eyeliner where you have to like dip it in. I just like straight up liquid eyeliner that like is like a pen. If you guys know what I'm talking about. I've never used this brand of eyelash before. So, you know, all I ever say is we can hope for the best because that is literally the truth. Someone told me that, I, in the comments, not in real life, no one actually says these things to people, um, but I read a comment that said, I look like an old woman when I wear fake eyelashes. And I was just like, oh, I really never seen an old woman with really long eyelashes. <laughs> but I did take it to heart and I stopped wearing them for a little bit. Not that it like made me sad, but it definitely was like, whoa, okay. Um, they're not bad. They're a little uh low key on my end. So I'm gonna do a little bit of mascara after I take Revolution Makeup Revolution London makeup stick. Why did I say makeup stick? I meant to say eyeliner stick. Why am I like this? I don't know. And I'm just gonna... So, depending on how long you guys have been following me, you guys know that I used to only do winged, like, eyeliner that was like, whoa, in your face. So mascara, I'm gonna use Better Than Sex Mascara by Too Faced. Um... And you guys complimented me, complimented me like crazy when I would do that. Without a doubt, you guys hyped me up. But I don't know what it was. I slowly grew out of the whole winged eyeliner. <laughs> okay, no I didn't. I didn't grow out of it, I just got lazy. <laughs> All in this together. <gasps> um, <laughs> I literally look like I am doing my makeup for like Halloween or something. We're all in this together. <laughs> Those girls that use like a lot of blush though. Oh my God. You are so cute. Oh my God. I mean, it is what it is. It doesn't look too bad. I'm gonna do a little bit on my nose. Oh, is she dying? Okay, hi. We are now using my phone because I don't know what happened. My camera died. Well, it didn't even die. It was like showing up this like lock thing and it was like frozen. I'm kind of scared. Um, I really hope that we get the clips. Um, okay, so now I'm gonna use Fenty Beauty um, highlighter. Love it. I just use my finger cause really don't care. And I always just throw some right there. I just, I always put some here, you know, there's no rhyme or reason. It's kind of like art. When you feel it, you feel it. Now for the fun part, to the haters who want to see me in pain. I've only ever used this once and it did hurt. This is the Too Faced Lip Injection Maximum Plump, the Extra Strength Instant and Long Term Lip Plumper. And I will say, it does work and it does hurt. So let's go. All right. Oh boy. Just knowing the pain that is about to happen. I'm not used to stuff like this. I'm not being, oh. I'm not being, oh my God, it burns so bad. I'm not being dramatic. I'm being for real. It'll be okay. Everything will be all right. It'll all be okay. Beauty's worth the pain. 
Twiggy, are you okay, baby? And now we just wait. Oh my god, what happened on my camera though? This is my camera. It's just like... I don't know, did it overheat, I wonder? Oh god. Everything will be okay. Ooh, she hot. All right, I'm gonna let it do its thing. I'm gonna get dressed, brush my hair. I did just get up. I'm able to walk and it's just things I feel like people take for granted a lot. And after everything that's happened in 2020, it's just been, it's been a wild, wild ride, especially, you know, me being diagnosed with cancer that really shook my whole life around. So I'm just hoping for, you know, a good 30s like um, my aunt sent me something today that said like put the 29 years behind you you don't actually start living until you're 30 I have I'm gonna go back and look hold on because it actually it just it made me feel like a lot better so let me go find it okay this is what it says life begins at 30 the last 29 years have just been a practice love that hi everybody it's me um since we didn't finish vlogmas you guys didn't get to see the rest of what Amber Lynn got me. I'm going to show you guys what she got me. Featuring Twinkie. Because Twinkie wants some attention right now. She got me this calendar of my favorite actress. And it's pretty cool. It's uh, 2021, obviously. I'm not going to show everything. It's just, you know, there's January. I'm not showing everything in order either because I really don't remember the order. So... She got me this tapestry, tapestry, whatever you want to call it. Can you all even see it? So yeah, that's pretty cool. She liked it so much, she also got herself one, so that's pretty cool. She got me this really cool necklace. I don't know if you guys can make out what it is. Sorry, my hands are like covered in like ink. I'm about to show you why. She got me dip pen. It's actually really hard to use and I actually don't know how exactly to use it yet, but I messed around with it yesterday. Here's all the inks and here is the dip pen. Wow, I'm clumsy. I just about broke it. She got an Echo Dot. I like to listen to She Knows Me Inside and Out, it seems. <laughs> Along with all the other things that you guys got to see, this is the rest. And I hope you all enjoyed it. And I hope you all got amazing things from your loved ones and got to spend time with who you can because of COVID has ruined everything. And um, I got to see a few of my family members. It was not like we usually do. I didn't get to see my grandmother or my aunts and uncles, cousins. I didn't get to see any of them. So that was pretty sad. Um, it was also my first Christmas without my mother. And I know a lot of people out there are also having their first Christmases without their loved ones due to other illnesses along with COVID-19 or accidents, you know, those type of deals. I hope everyone did have a Merry Christmas regardless of all that and um, as always we are thankful for you guys. Okay, <laughs> do not mind how I look. I'm actually putting up my Christmas decor very slowly but it's happening. Um, I'm working on this stuff in my bathroom right now. I already got everything out of the kitchen. Um, that's Christmas. I think I'm gonna do the living room last because that's like where it's like most decked out. But today is the 29th. Um, yesterday I had an appointment with a dietitian. The dietitian is an anti-diet dietitian and I thought it was gonna be so perfect. I thought she was going to help me lose weight without like actually dieting, like through an intuitive eating situation because 
It's an intuitive eating dietitian. And I thought not only was she gonna help me and guide me through intuitive eating while trying to lose weight, I thought that weight loss was gonna be a really big focus. But after the appointment, I realized I was wrong because I talked a lot about my weight and wanting to lose weight in the appointment. And she kept telling me that weight loss was not a focus. It's not something that she wants me to think about. And that um, the first three months of intuitive eating people tend to even gain weight and that's okay too. And after the phone call, I just realized, yeah, no, um, I want to see a dietitian who is focused on weight loss and she was not at all. She did not want to talk about it. Um, her program is not about weight loss. It's about strictly just helping you with your relationship with food. And I get that, I need help with that, but I also need help with weight loss. So. It's really unfortunate because I was super excited for that appointment, but I mean, too bad, too sad. Am I right? You guys, I'm so excited. I got me some freshly, so I wanted to show you guys what I got. I got an enchilada power bowl. I got three of these because these are my favorite. This is the homestyle chicken with mac and cheese and green beans. So, did get three of those and we have okay this one just says entry let's see oh yeah this is the parmesan with broccoli and buffalo chicken yeah this time I just got six um, I have gotten 12 in the past and it's just too much and I end up wasting so I figured six is perfect so, no, I'm not sponsored, <laughs> but what I love about Freshly is it is fresh. It shows the calories, the ingredients, the day it expires. Um, I love it. Super easy to cook as well. It's so weird to pay to judge if you want to. Um, if it was any other day, I wouldn't have bought them. But y'all... I turned 30. Everyone turned 30. Wow. So, I'm gonna take these all out of the packages and I will show you guys what they look like. All right, you guys. So, I took all of the perfume out of the plastic and the boxes, have not looked at any of them. So, I want to do like a first impression. I'm so excited. Okay. So I got the all of the crystal sets. So the first one I'm opening is Crystal Gardenia Citrus. So here we go. All right, you guys. Oh, it's so beautiful. And what is this? There's something in there. Oh my God. You guys, stunning. Oh, I'm so pumped. I'm so pumped. No. I think I just died and went to heaven and then came back to earth. Hi. Wow. That. Wow. That smells amazing. But what is in this little envelope? Envelope. <gasps> oh, I get actual. Rose quartz, the stone of love and emotional healing enhances self-love and self-acceptance. I got actual rose quartz right here. Oh my god, are they all gonna be like that? I need to go. I need to open these. Oh my god, I'm so excited. But before I go, I also got the diamonds set. So let's do it. Oh, stunning. This is how it looks. <gasps> the pink one. Oh my god. Oh. What the heck? <laughs> Emerald green, I'm dead. Look how gorgeous this red is. So I guess I'll open these with you guys too. Hopefully you guys aren't too bored. This is the crystal peach. Oh my gosh. This is another gardenia one. This is crystal vanilla. This is just literally crystal gardenia. A lot of these are gardenia, but there's like a special word after them. 
that one was just guarding you. This is Crystal Violet Musk, Crystal Rose, and this is Crystal Pears. Oh my goodness. All right, you guys, so they are completely unboxed. And honestly, this might sound stupid to some of you, but this kind of made me emotional because I've heard so many good things about real stones and I've actually never had any real ones, even though I have wanted to. And I did not even know that this came with the perfumes. So I don't know. I just think this is like such an amazing gift that I got for myself. <laughs> What do you think, babe? This little happy new year necklace moment. But it is officially 12.07 a.m. It is crazy hair day, apparently. Um, it is now 2021, you guys. So, where'd my drink go? You, were, you weren't done with it? Uh-uh. Oh. See, I'm a no alcohol gal. Um... I drink alcohol like maybe twice a year. I'm over it though. So we just got this sparkling juice to like imitate some wine moment. And I'm telling you, it is so good. Oh my God. But happy new year. Oh my God. Okay. I don't know why that's there, but happy freaking new year. We ended up not going grocery shopping. Um, we did go to Target because we had to get a few things and while I was there I got these new pillows. I got three of them. They're so soft So squishy so perfect. I'm super excited to take off the Christmas pillows and like start fresh with like Normal pillows, but anyways, yeah, happy freaking new year Not even, not even anything but juice. That's so funny. Do you guys remember when you were younger or was this just me? My parents would give me this. I'm talking when I was like six. And I would think I was getting something good and I swear I would fake being drunk. Like it was a thing and it happened. Me and Becky, we had a New Year's kiss and it was just great. Um, we've actually been watching Chantel live. Um, it's been nice because we had no way of watching the ball drop but we watched it on her thing. So that was perfect. And don't forget, we did do a little bit of this action. <laughs> and we had a little bit of this action. <laughs> and we had a little bit of this action. <laughs> We've had our fun for the night party for two. Hello, it is the next day. Right now, I'm about to organize this mess. This drawer is just insane. And then my vanity's a little insane. So I'm gonna clean these and then I'm gonna show you guys how they look afterwards. And I wanted to show you guys this. So this is actually one of the gifts that Becky's sister. So I'll see you guys when I'm done with that. Okay, so it's the next day. I forgot to show you guys the completed. Look how much better that looks. Hair stuff here. This is just like crazy glitter for your face. Nail polishes, some lotions, deodorant, makeup remover. Love how that looks. And then over here, we have a kitty. I have all of my eyeshadow palettes, eyeshadow small thingy majiggers, and these are all like eyeshadows in little things like this. This is all my chapsticks and then all my lipsticks. I kind of collect lipsticks, but yeah, this looks so much better now. Like, wow. Okay, you guys, so it is getting to the end of the vlog. But what I want to do every Sunday is give you kind of like a book update. Because my goal for this year is to read 70 books, which isn't that many, but to some people it could be, I don't know. So specifically this month I wanted to read six books. So I got my six books that I want to read and I have them in a pile. So the first book is Be Not Far From Me by Mindy McGinnis. I... 
I pronounce last names wrong, first names, you know, I pronounce all words wrong, so pardon me. So this is the first book. Today is January 3rd and I'm on page 124. I did um, obviously start this on the first, so I am a little more than halfway through. The second book I want to read is Dating Game by Danielle Steele. I did start this before and I never actually finished it, so I'm going to restart it, finish it. It is a thick one. But I love Danielle Steele and I feel like that'll go by pretty freaking quick. We have Pillow Thoughts for Stitching the Soul by Courtney Pepperdale. Honestly, Pillow Thoughts are okay. This is a poetry book, by the way. Um, but since I've read the first three, obviously I want to read the fourth one. So excited for that. Then the fourth book is called Want to Go Private by Sarah Dare Littman. So that's how thick that one is. The fifth one, which I'm super excited about because I've heard people say that the ending to this is very unique. So I don't know. This one's called Sometimes I Lie by Alice Feeney. So it's the fifth one. And then, don't judge me. Sometimes I like to read, you know, elementary books. <laughs> This one's called Away Laughing on a Fast Camel. I have had by Louise Renison. I've had this book for oh my god, I can't even tell you how long. And everyone keeps telling me, read it, read it, read it. Doesn't matter how old you are, read it. It's actually really funny. A pretty hefty stack so far. Hello, how you doing? I don't know. I don't know. Wacky inflatable arm guy. Yeah, I wish they would have put the extra whatever this is down here to cover my stomach. You know what I'm saying? All right, day 17. We have TV Stevie. That one's TV actually Stevie. cute. That is cute. And then day 18 is Bony. Tony. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. I like that. It'd be funny if you sent that to your brother. Because his name's Tony. You can't yeah. send stuff like that. No, but it'd be funny. I need to show you guys this picture that my brother um, got drawn of me, him, and my mom. It's actually pretty cool. I'll have to show that in this vlog or another vlog or something. Okay. Here we go. Earrings. Oh my god, all my energy, man. <laughs> I've lost strength for sure. They're always facing down majority of the time. Like this part's usually on top. Like it's usually like this, so I don't really see them yet. Mm. Ooh, I love these. Let's see them. I'm, oh, I'm, I'm admiring them, ma'am. Well. I like the pink and like that gold, like how it looks together. There we go. Yeah, that's, that's super I like cute. Those. I love those. Uh, <laughs> you do that on accident? No. How about slip? Babe, you might have more than one gift on the 25th. Uh, well, it's a shirt. <laughs> oh my God, look at the package, y'all. Y'all, look. <laughs> we show them. I hate that wrapping paper. Okay, this one. I wasn't so sure. It's something different. So just embrace it, okay? Okay. I like it because the girl on it. I think it's just oh, different. Oh, cool. Boobies. It's, it's just something different. She's cute. Yeah, it, re it kind of inspired me to tell you that you need to start a new story. And she needs to be the main character. Like an alien moment. She reminds me of like an alien or something. You know what? I kind of think I do have an idea for it. See? Me and Becky like to write stories and characters and stuff like that. We're just one of them types. I've seen that logo before. I think it's just... That the... logo is cool looking, ain't it? Yeah. Stay inspired, like how it looks. It's uh, into the AM. I swear I've seen this logo or something before. I've seen something. I love it, babe. I like it, too, if you That'd had. That'd be a pretty cool story. Too. I feel like you're going to um wear that with green shorts. Because the green. 
Wait, you don't have green shorts anymore? You I just... do, but they're picked all the crap. What do you mean? Um, they're the and one brand that you get at Walmart. And the material is like kind of silky. Oh, so like, they get hit. Yeah. All yeah. And my favorite shorts uh, were like this really thin, loose, I left them at your old apartment when you moved. Start dropping some more weight. I'm trying to get out of wearing basketball shorts all the time, you know? Mm-hmm. You haven't been wearing them recently. It's winter. Oh, that's why? I do have yeah. pairs of pants, but it's like, you know, because of COVID and stuff, we really don't get to go nowhere. Nope. So it's like, if I have to run to the store, I'm just going to wear my mind your business pants. Mind your business pants. Yeah, here's another pair. Mind your business. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it hurts to laugh. Stop. Sorry, babe. Stop being funny. I love you. I love you too. I'm just, I hope you don't get sick. I said we hold hands. It just happened so fast. It did. And it you've gotten significantly better. Yeah. Pretty quick too. That's so weird. Oh. And my friend, you know who you are. You said you were going to show me how to do like charcoal and pastel work. I'm holding you to it. Oh, you have a little friend you're talking you, to. You know who it is. Oh, do I? Mm -hmm. Oh, I, I don't remember. Who, are Mar who, who do I Marco Polo? Oh! Yeah. She watches my videos? Yeah. Oh, what's up, girl? She loves you. I did not know that. <laughs> yeah. Ow. I'm laughing again. I did not know that. I love, I love beanies, okay? But I don't know if it's just my fat head or what, what is it? But it just slowly starts to do this number right here. <laughs> and then pretty not... soon I'm looking like, I don't know, Dave Chappelle. Stop. Joe, Joe you're, Pesci. Becky, you're purposely <laughs> being funny because you want me to be in pain. No. This, this. This vlogmas is going to be titled, My Girlfriend Wants to Hurt Me. <laughs> oh, stop. I'm sorry. Stop. No more. It's not your fat head. You're beautiful just the way you are. Look how so cute you, you look. No, stop. Ouch. Babe. So you agree. You think she's pretty. Is that from something? Yeah. Tell, tell him his hair looks sexy pushed back. What is that from? It's mean Girls. I fucking knew it was on the tip of my tongue. <sighs> Anyways. Hold on. Hi, baby. See, I don't like to be held, and I only like to bother you when I want to be bothered. I want to hold you. No, but she'll rub her face all over yours. Especially when you're using the bathroom. <laughs> she has to uh, rot there in your face. Because the, right, the sink is right next to the door. And if you don't pay her any mod, <sighs> she starts doing this number. Yeah. Babe, show me real quick. I want to show something. I just want to point this out because when I'm behind the camera and I'm filming you, it sounds like I'm breathing super heavy, but this is what's happening. I'm going. Right. 